My name is Ahmed Bashad. I'm the director of the Johns Hopkins Center for Fetal Therapy, and I'd like to just introduce our study on the resolution of twin twin transfusion syndrome after laser surgery. So twin twin transfusion syndrome severity is measured by looking at parameters of volume flow differences between the babies and blood flow differences that we measure in a standardized way before undergoing laser surgery. And in this study, we wanted to see the pattern and the sequence of resolution of these problems when laser surgery is performed. Um, the essence of our findings was that the earliest findings of successful laser surgery are re, um, constitution of bladder filling in the donor and amniotic fluid normalization. One important finding is that critical Doppler abnormalities that typically indicate that the donor has a very small placental share or that the recipient has partly compromised cardiac function actually have the capability of resolving in a significant portion of babies. And that's important to note because some may consider these as exclusion criteria for laser surgery, but with the technique that we use, we actually have been successful on resolving those as well. The findings that takes the longest to resolve are the differences in middle cerebral artery peak systolic velocities that are suggestive or indicative of differences in hemoglobin concentration in the babies so that there is a proportion of babies that still have Doppler abnormalities after two weeks that require dedicated monitoring. And knowing what these are, we can make some very deliberate recommendations to our referring physicians how to follow these pregnancies up when we send them um, to deliver at their referring institutions. And um, this has been a very interesting finding for us specifically that the significant Doppler abnormalities that we see in the donor and recipient actually may resolve after laser surgery.